you know, the reason that, um, or some of the reasons that I am so proud of um, my people is because of what they have been through, what they continue to go through uh, today. Yeah, I, I have no shame for the fact that I am very proud of being an African American and very proud of the things that African Americans have accomplished in America. And I feel fortunate that I do not have to make a video on YouTube and cover up my face because I've said uh, so many things that are so offensive for so many black people that uh, I just don't want to show my face. And there are many African Americans who are on YouTube who I'm not really sure what their purposes are. They are individuals like, I don't know, they, this is one gentleman by the name of Painless Risen, and then we've got uh, David, so-called Pastor Manning, David Manning, and then we've got Tommy Sotomayor. And it seems like these individuals, they actually have some valid points. I'll give them that. But at the same time, they are individuals who never have anything to say about black people except things that are negative. I, I shouldn't say never. I should say that I have never heard them say anything much about black people except things that are negative. And it's hard for me to understand the person that actually loves and cares about black people who only focuses on those things that are negative about black people I'm not really sure how they think this changes anything or helps anything in the African American community or in fact I'm not even sure that that's their ultimate goal I, I'm, I can't figure out what the ultimate goal is really except perhaps maybe getting uh, I don't know hits on YouTube and whatnot but um the reason why I have so much respect for black people decent hard-working black people in America is because of all the things that they have gone through and all the things that they face today and they still keep <clears throat> on fighting and trying I mean, think about it. We have the black man, the decent black man, I mean black man and woman, family, whatever, standing there fighting against so many entities. For instance, we have black people who are poor and living in urban centers, who are working every day, trying to do the right thing, and they are faced with basically an armed criminal element that preys on them and and the first thing you hear uh, conservatives both black and white say as well you're always complaining about what the police are doing but you never complain about the black on black crime in your neighborhoods what's up with that why don't you get out there and protest against the black on black crime and my answer to that is what is it supposed to do what is marching in the streets and protesting against black on black crime supposed to do to stop it does it decrease the numbers of AK-47s and M-15s and Tech 9s and 9mm that somehow magically find their ways into the hands of young black men in urban centers all around this country? No. You protest against police brutality and you march against police brutality because guess what? It actually can sometimes change things and you know what? Why not focus or, or, or fight a battle or battles in ways that are effective? If 
protests and demonstrations help with police brutality, then of course, logic dictates that that's what you would do. If protests and marching in the street could somehow disarm criminal elements in our cities, probably we would do that as well. But I have yet to see a gang or any armed group of individuals in America put down their uh, weapons and stop threatening good, innocent, hardworking people because somebody in the street was protesting. So that's my take on that. So really, I can't really, uh, I can't really stomach these brothers, and I say that with a small b. Who who make their mark by constantly bamming on what black people don't do, what black people don't have, what black people can't be, you know. And I know the first thing that comes out of their mouth is, well, I'm not really talking about all black people. I'm just talking about certain black people. But that's not what they say and that's not how it comes out they don't say I'm talking about uh, this specific kind of person they say black people this black people that black people are not smart enough to do this they're they're lazy and their women are ratchet and whatnot and this is this is coming from other black men completely ignoring completely I mean never mentioning the 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 industrious hardworking millions of black people who go to work every day do the right thing follow the laws and want the same thing uh, that every other American wants you know the the pursuit of uh, life you know happiness and you know all that liberty stuff that's what they want just like what everybody else wants but they, they never talk about that they never talk about the the black kids who are doing well in school uh, the black kids who are, you know, doing well in business and whatnot. The people who have invented things, who are, who are working in the technology fields and medicine. You never hear them mention any of that. It's always black people don't do this. Black people can't do that. They're in the street mobbing. Of course, we have issues in our community that we need to address. But I have yet to see any change in the african-american community because we have black people who are willing to go online and just lamb blast black people continuously i I don't see how it helps except maybe getting some clicks on youtube so if somebody has any ideas of how you actually do something how do you, as a community and as a country, uh, figure out how to get guns and weapons out of the hands of the criminal element that is preying on our people more than any other people? Okay, how do you do that? Because cause talking about what black people don't do or can't do and how ratchet their children are and all this kind of stuff and how poor their parenting is doesn't change anything how about some ideas how about some solutions how about even a conversation on how you get guns out of the hand of gangs nobody ever addresses gang members nobody ever addresses or wants to talk about you know rap artists getting on uh, the radio and, and putting out music that uh, pretty much put into the mind of a young black man, a young black child, the idea that education is stupid, violence is good. We don't we don't talk about those things. There's no movement for that to, to do something to uh, really, in, uh, uh, you know, make changes in our culture, the culture of our young. So anyway, I think if you got something negative to say about your own people you should sometimes come up with some kind of ideas some solutions and you should also sometimes mention something that's positive you know we've got enough people we call them racists who um, spend their time and their energies talking about how bad we are as a people we really don't need uh, to hear it from other black people 
on a daily basis. Particularly since it doesn't do anything, doesn't change anything, doesn't help. That's my take on that. You heard?